Were you excited by all of the announcements about the new Copilot Pro and you want to get started right away so you can use the more advanced features of Copilot on the web and you can use Copilot in your office apps? I'm the Productivity Coach and today I show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart Riddart, the Productivity Coach, and I work at Microsoft as part of our modern work and ecosystem team. Now, overnight, or it was overnight here for us in the UK, there's been a huge flurry of announcements that have come out uh, on uh, blog posts, on LinkedIn, all sorts of places, um, and lots and lots of those new sites about the new Copilot Pro SKU that's come in, uh, which is for home users. This is part of a wider announcement, um, including loads of things like um, we pre Previously, for, uh, if you had Copilot for Microsoft 365, if you were an enterprise user, we've now uh, removed that 300 limit that you need to get. So that means that Copilot for Microsoft 365 is now opened up to kind of small businesses and things like this. We've changed the eligibility skew so you don't have to have Microsoft. Uh, 365, so like an M3 or an M5 plan, you can now have an E3 and an E5 plan, um, and a whole load of other stuff. But this video I want to talk about is about Copilot Pro, which is for home consumer users. Um, because when I've released some of my other videos um, about showing things like Copilot in Microsoft Word, I had loads of comments, people going, I want to use it, but I'm a home user. So great news is you can do that right now, and I'm going to show you how you can do that. But before you do that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel because if you were one of the people who looked at my video previously but didn't hit subscribe and you were upset because you couldn't use Copilot, you wouldn't have got this update about this one here. So please do hit that subscribe and like and share and all of those other things um, because we'll have loads and loads uh, more content here about how you can use Copilot, Copilot Pro, Copilot for Microsoft 365 and the free Copilot as well if that's, uh, that's what you're doing. So uh, let's jump in and have a look here then. Okay, so here I am. I'm uh, I'm on a personal account here, so I'm not on a corporate account. And I'm going to head over to copilot.microsoft.com just to show you what the experience is like right now. So you can see this is my personal copilot. I can tell that it's a co personal copilot because it doesn't have this protected stamp that appears up here. And I can see my personal details. If I click on here, then I can see my name and my email address and things like this. Now, there is um, a a new panel here that says Supercharger AI Experience and Get Copilot Pro. And that will take you directly into the buy experience. But in case it's not there, I'm going to show you another way that you can get into this as well. Um, so if I go to office.com, I just want to validate um, the experience right now. So um, I'm, I've got a Microsoft 365 family account here. Um, and I'm going to open up Word here. And if I take a look, um, just just to be clear that this doesn't apply, the Copilot doesn't apply to the family plan. So you can see I don't have Copilot there. Um, so you need to, so each user would need to have a Copilot license. Um, just wanted to make that clear. So I'm going to go to microsoft.com forward slash store. So again, this is useful if you don't have that panel in the Copilot experience there. Um, and I could click on Copilot. And again, you can see there I've got that supercharged your AI experience uh, panel. But if it's not there, I'm going to go to search and I'm going to search for Copilot Pro and hit enter. So don't pick any of these drop downs here. Hit enter. OK, and you can see here now we're on the Copilot page and it's split into four individuals and there's a, a panel there for businesses. But you are an individual. So we're going to do four individuals. And it will take me to the new Copilot Pro landing page on the Microsoft Store. So you can see here um, there is an address to get there directly, but it's easier to do it this way. So we've got uh, the price, get Copilot Pro, or use the free version of Copilot. So here it tells you what's in each one. So not everybody needs Copilot Pro. So if this is the experience that you're happy with, um, being able to use GPT-4, GPT-4 Turbo during non-peak times, but use text, voice and images, create AI images with 15 boosts per day um, and things like this. Or you might want to look at the Copilot Pro. Few differences here is you can use these faster models during peak time, um, but the magic is that you can access Copal in the selected Microsoft 365 apps, um, and that when you create AI images, you can do it in a landscape format. So right now on the free version, you can only do square ones. So I'm going to hit Get Copal Pro. Okay. Uh, and it takes me to this page. We've already seen it. Okay. 
Um, so if we just give it a moment, uh, I can just hit buy now. Make sure that you confirm all of these details up here, like the email address, the account you're applying it to, the country, and your payment method up here. So um, I'm fine paying by PayPal. So I'm gonna hit buy now, and it will just, hopefully just take a second. Uh, that'll be, and uh, my understanding is that this gets applied straight away. So if you were on a commercial plan, it takes a few days to, uh, to kind of get ready. But for Copilot Pro, it's on straight away. So we've got thanks for subscribing, or thank you for subscribing to Microsoft Copilot Pro, and uh, a button here to get started. So it looks like we're ready, let's hit get started. And you can see now I'm on the Copilot landing uh, page I before, but now I can see that it says Copilot Pro. So I know that that's been applied. Um, let's just try, so, oh, so we've got the GPT-4, GPT-4 turbo switch there. Um, so let's just generate an image of a landscape scene in the mountains, this is me manifesting my holiday here, uh, in the mountains with a log cabin, there is a man who has just made a coffee and is drinking it whilst looking out. Generate this in landscape, just make sure that it really knows that we're doing it in landscape format. Uh, and hit enter, and there you go. This should only take a second. Okay, and there you go. So just a reminder, this isn't the image. This is just like a holding image uh, that it puts in place. Your image is generating. So again, I haven't edited any of the times on this without making things quicker, just so you can really see the genuine experience here. Uh, hey, and there we've got four different images in landscape of uh, a mountain scene with a man who's made a coffee and he's looking out over the uh, over the mountains. Brill. So that's that for Copilot, but let's have a look for uh, Office. Now, I already had that open, so I'm just gonna refresh it, give it its, uh, its best chance and hit blank document. Fingers crossed, hopefully this will be there. Oh, there it is. Oh, it just, it just took a second to appear. I've got that Copilot button. And now I've got that draft with Copilot. Um, so let's just test that out. Create a blog post about how awesome AI is for home users. Uh, reference the developments in Microsoft Copilot and how it can save time when generating documents from scratch and hit generate and hopefully it will create something wonderful for me. So, I mean, this is so useful for when you're trying to create stuff from scratch. It's so hard to get started. It might not be perfect, but this gets you a long way there. There we go. So we can see that this is now generating our blog post. I'm gonna stop it here um, and just uh, and just dump it because I'm, I'm not doing a specific demo on generating content. But let's just test it in another app. We'll go to PowerPoint here. Okay, uh, and hopefully there's, there's our Copilot icon, brilliant. So again, I can hit Copilot. Ooh, I was just a bit too quick off the mark. There you go, hit Copilot, and we'll get the sidecar that opens up. Now, there is a slight difference, I understand, in Copilot on PowerPoint, um, that in, um, the, in the other version, you can create a, a doc, create a document or create a PowerPoint from a document. But here that option isn't there yet. Um, so I'm just gonna create a presentation about uh, gravity. I don't know. I, I should have prepped and thought about a topic here. Create a presentation about gravity. So uh, this might be useful if I was helping my child with a, a presentation about gravity, I suppose. And again, it's gonna go off uh, and uh, get some uh, get some images, get some information and create this deck for me. Um, again, I'm not editing any of the time, this is real time. I wanna show you the uh, absolute genuine experience here. So you can see it does take a few seconds to do it, um, but obviously it's much quicker than, than doing it from scratch. Uh, still working on it, hopefully it will come through. There we go, and it's created our presentation. Um, and again, just a reminder, you know, we've got we've got all of our slides here, we've got images, we've got bullet points. Um, you can use Designer to tweak this if you want to. 
um, and again we can we can use um, copilot to change it so if i said add another two bullet points uh, on this slide i want a little bit more detail here then uh, it can do that for me take a look looking things over it's almost done it for me pulling things together and Hopefully any second right now, it will pop up with another couple of bullet points. There we go. So we've got a couple more bullet points um, about the effects of gravity. And again, if I click on notes, it's created me speaker's notes as well. So, uh, you know, that saves me so much time just in getting started um, and, uh, and getting rid of that kind of that blank page that's sometimes a bit of a productivity blocker. Um, and then the other thing as well, obviously, is uh, where it's really powerful is uh, Outlook. And writing emails because again lots of people struggle to kind of get started on email so if I click on Outlook and I create a new email okay uh, you can see up in the top right we've got our copilot icon and I can say draft with copilot and let's say that I want to write um, an email to my child's school so I'm going to write um, a, a letter or an email I should have written an email really write a letter to my child's school congratulating the drama team on their recent performance of high school musical thank them for their dedication and time they've given up for their students and then i hit generate um so even though I wrote letter, it knows what I mean. Copilot knows because it's context aware. Um, so here's here's what I want. Okay, it doesn't really look like an email. It's a bit short. Um, I could say make it longer and add, let's top and tail it. So let's say we're going to add a dear drama team uh, at the top. Um, and then we want a sign off at the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to click on that arrow there and it will uh, reformat that email. Just taking a second. There we go. Lovely. So now I've got a longer email. I can page back and forth between that, but I'm going to click keep it and then I would be able to hit send. So really, really easy um, to do there. So that's uh, so that's the experience there in Outlook. So the one other thing that I wanted to just try is show um, the the desktop app experience because obviously what I've shown you now was in the web. So I've got Word here. Okay, so I've loaded it up. So I'm going to hit blank. So it looks like because there's been a license change, I need to re uh, re accept the license agreement. Okay. And hopefully now that means if I click blank document, there we go. We've got Copilot. We've got that pop up there. And just to validate that is all working, write a report on how AI can help those with accessibility needs. Okay. And hit generate. And hopefully that will start to create that for me. Again, so you don't looks like you don't have to use the word the the desktop uh, the web versions. Although I love the web versions um, because it's where all of the updates happen. Um, but if you do have the desktop versions, you might need to make sure that you've got it up to date and things like this. So there we go. We've got the starter of my report. I've stopped it um, because I don't really need to generate this all for this demo because this demo was really about how you can sign up and get started right now using Copilot Pro. Um, I know from lots of the comments that have been on lots of my other videos, there'll be a lot of uh, happy people who will be getting ready to be more productive uh, and to get that help that they get from Copilot Pro at home. So again, make sure that you subscribe so that you get any future videos um, and hopefully I will see you again on another video.